Hi, in this video I'm going to answer a question from a subscriber which he posted in a video that I made a while ago about how to use the flame filter to create backgrounds and I'm going to put a link on the video for that video and it's going to open in a new tab so if you want to learn how to use the filter and watch that video before you watch this one go ahead now there is a problem with the filter in GIMP 2.8.4 that video I made in 2.8 the filter was working and now in 2.8.4 it's not working well but I'm going to show you how to work around that so let's go to the filter render nature flame and I misclicked here let's go back now you see first thing if I click here I don't get the option to use a gradient or the other options that were available here sometimes they appear sometimes they don't it's just the filter is not behaving correctly so the way we can work around this is basically by creating a new layer here and uh, by the way you can also use an image here you can drag and drop an image or open image as a layer digital photograph or some something else but I'm going to use just this and go ahead and select the blend tool grab a gradient from here and let's use some with more colors say this one let's select radio gradient and I'm going to click and drag like this now next thing I'll create a new layer again filled with transparency and now I'm going to make sure I have this layer selected here go to filters reshow flame and now I need to select from here this one and you see that now we have some thing appear in here I'll click on edit and from here I can select my options again we have these different variations we can randomize here let's find something interesting let's say this one click OK and then just click OK and this will render it and next we can just turn this layer off we can delete it or we can use it again to create another graphic like this so I hope this video was useful for users that have problems with this filter and I'll be making videos like this when I can't answer questions in writing if you have a question feel free to ask me in the comment section of any of my videos I have a few pending questions for example using the brush tool with gradients in GIM 2.8 which seems not to be working for some reason so that's it for this video bye for now